Hello guys and uh, welcome back to more Labo Linux. So um, my name is Sterling Goma, as you already know, uh, certified uh, Red Hat System Administrator. So today we're gonna have a special topic. It's not gonna be hands-on, just about talking for the Red Hat exam overview and objectives. So uh, before we uh, we continue talking about that, uh, my goal is to make sure that I explain what you will see on the on the screen that I'm going to share and what we are going to do. It doesn't is is not really straight related to the exam, but it's something that if you practice as uh, as it is, I'm pretty sure that you will uh, figure out how to tackle the exam. So. Um, this is the disclaimer for me. And uh, also, while I was doing the Red Hat exam uh, back in 2020, I signed, I signed uh, the non-disclosure agreement. So meaning I cannot disclose the information that are inside the Red Hat exam. So we are just going to base, uh, we are just going to take our base from their website, okay? So talking about your website, without further ado, let me go to it. All right, so for those people who wanna do the Red Hat exam or wanna prepare for that, uh, today I'm gonna to show you how you can get the information for that and how much is the average uh, amount that it can cost to you when while you are purchasing the Red Hat exam. Okay, so that's why I uh, that's my, my main goal today. So I'm going to type here RHCSA, okay, EX2, oh, sorry, 200 exam. Okay, so that's the name. And right here, when we type that, you have this right here, okay. And once you come here, uh, depends on uh, what you choose because I already click on that window where they were they were asking uh, my location. So depending on where you choose or where you are, you will have a, you might have a different amount here. But we are not talking about the amount yet. Okay, so we're going to talk about this and then come on this side. So let's talk about the EX two hundred. Red Hat Certified System Administrator, shorted with this, okay? Red Hat uh, RHCSA exam. So here's the overview and update uh, for this exam. You can now test for, from wherever you are by choosing our remote exam format. So they have a remote exam format. We will talk about that uh, later on. So here you can see that we have overview, objective, uh, what you need to know, and the skill path, okay? So let's talk about this one first, the Red Hat exam description. So here they say what? Red, uh, the performance-based Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam, EX200, Tests your knowledge in uh, in areas of system administration uh, common across a wide range of environment environments and deployment scenarios. The skills tested in this exam are the foundation for system administrator administrations. Uh, my bad, across all Red Hat product. So. What does it mean? It means that this is the base foundation. This is the foundation for you if you want to follow um, their product. Their, if you want to um, upgrade your skills, okay, with the different product that they have, like uh, RHCSA, uh, I mean, RH, uh, RHCE, Red Hat uh, Certified Engineer with Ansible and other stuff. By passing this exam, you become a Red Hat Certified System Administrator. If you choose to continue your learning journey uh, beyond Red Hat Certified System Administrator, the credentials can also serve as a foundational step 
on your path toward our highest level of certification. I right? have certified architecture, architect. This exam is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.2. And what is the audience for this exam? So you can see here that they are targeting a set of people for this Red Hat exam, people who uh, never, uh, knew, who never knew about uh, Linux and then they want to they want to learn Linux and also do a certification. And they are also recommending some uh, Red Hat exam courses like this one here. So if I click on that, there are uh, the RH, RH 124, you will see that it will give some objectives, all right? So you see, this is level one. So it will give some objectives and you can see here that here is the cost if you want to get trained for that exam, $3,600, okay? Just to be trained only in Linux, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you understand very well. So here are some of the stuff that you need to know for that, okay? Yeah, so I'm not gonna read it. I was just uh, showing it and it's just for five days, as you can see there, 3,600. And um, yep, and you can also click on the other one, which is the RH, uh, RH 134, which is the advanced one. This is the second level, okay. This is the second level here. You can see that uh, right here. Okay, that's the second level, and the price is four thousand five hundred uh, United States dollars. Okay, and it's just for five days, and uh, here they will tell you what exactly you need to know, like SLNX and uh, uh, some other stuff, and they recommend they recommend you to take the RH one twenty four before coming to the RH 134. And uh, here you can see the course summary, audience for this course and other stuff. And other, I don't know. So if you're interested, just go for it. Okay. All right. So um, uh, ah, okay. Okay, it's coming. So here now you can yeah so now i think you can guess this is level three okay so here being level three these are the stuff that you need to know and you have to get this certification if you want to go for the rara certified engineer yeah that's the if you don't have the rara certified system administrator you cannot do this one and also if you're a devops professional and want to demonstrate your linux uh your Linux performance, you can also do this, okay? You can also have this uh, certification. So here are the prerequisites that we just uh, saw, right? That we just talked about and uh, other stuff that we need to know. So now uh, let's go with, so that overview lead us to the objective. So we need to understand exactly what we have to do on the Red Hat exam. So, for the Red exam study point, you have this, okay? So Red Hat Certified System uh, Administrator exams uh, candidate should be able to accomplish the tasks below without assistance. These have been grouped into several categories, okay? So these are those categories, the one that you see in bold here, right? In bold. So let's go. Uh, let's go through them. All right. All right. So here, understanding and use essential tools. So what do we need to know? Access a shell prompt and issue commands with correct syntax. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Okay. Remember that we already installed our Linux system our Linux operating system. And now we need to know exactly how to access that. So that's what you are going to do. Then use input output redirection, like uh, single, single redirection, double redirection, pipe, the pipe character, 
and uh, tool and singularization detector. Then use grep and regular expression to analyze text. Uh, access remote system using SSH. Okay, login, login and switch user in multi-user targets. Um, archive, compress, unpack and uncompress file using tar, star, star, gzip and gzip2. Create an edit text, uh, an edit text file. Create, delete, copy and move file and directions and directories. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so create hard and soft link, list set and challenge and change. Standard you go, so you go or R W X permissions. Uh, locate, read and use system documentation, including man info and file in this path. The US R share doc. Now the other section is. Create simple shell, uh, shell script, okay? Conditionally execute code. How can you use conditional step to execute code? Like if, test, for, and order. Then use looping. Oh, here's a 44. Use looping constructs, okay? For loop, for example, to process file command line input. Process script input. Uh, dollar sign one, dollar sign two, these are the arguments. Uh, processing output of shell command within a script. Processing shell command exit codes, okay? Now, operate running systems. Boot, reboot, and shut down a system normally. You can see here, interrupt the boot process in order to gain access to the system. Identify CPU and memory uh, intensive process, uh, processes and kill processes. Um, other stuff like manage tuning profile, locate and deploy system log files and journals, uh, process system journal start, stop, start, stop and check uh, the status of network services, securely transfer files between systems, okay. Uh, also configure local, oh, this is another session, configure local storage, okay? So here you have to know how to list, create, delete partition on MBR, masterable record and GPT, okay? GUI partition table disk. And here create a normal physical volume. Yeah, you have to know how to do it. Um, assign physical volume to volume groups, mm -hmm. create and delete logical volumes and all the stuff. So yes, for yeah, this is for storage configuration. And also here, uh, add new partition and logical volume and swap and swap partition to a system non-destructively. So how to do that without disrupting the system. Um, now the other session, I think this is the third session or yeah, the fourth session, no, the fifth, <laughs> the fifth one, right? Configure local storage uh, was the fifth one. And here it's create and configure file systems. So create mount on mount and use VFAT, yeah, ext4 and XFS file system. Mount and on mount network file system using NFS. Extend existing logical volume, create and configure set DID directory for collaboration, configure disk compression, manage layered storage, diagnose and correct file permission problems. Uh, the other session is deploy, configure and maintain systems, schedule tasks using at and cron. Uh, start and stop services and configure services to start automatically at boot time. Configure systems to boot into a specific target automatically. Configure time service client. Uh, install and update software packages from Red Hat Network, a remote repository, or from the local file system.
work with package module streams. Modify or a modify the system bootloader. Okay. So modify the system bootloader. So you have to know how to do it. Very important. Manage basic networking. So this is for part part uh this is for networking part. Okay. Configure IPv4, IPv6, IPv4, IPv6, and uh, manage firewall and all the stuff, host name resolution, and what you understand. Then we have manage users and groups, right? So you have to know here how to create and delete, modify uh, a user account, okay? And uh, add them and remove them from a group and also modify the aging of their password of their account, their account okay um also how to configure super user access okay you have to know how to do it um manage security so managing security here we are talking about firewall firewall uh, usage and also how to create and use file access control list uh, Configure key-based authentication for SSH, set enforcing and privacy mode for SE Linux, security enhanced Linux, uh, list and identify SE Linux file and process content uh, context, restore default file context, use Boolean settings to modify uh, system SE Linux settings, diagnose and address routine SE Linux policy violation. Now, the last, the last part, here, they say what? Manage containers. Yeah, this one was added recently. They removed some content and they put this one. So manage containers, all right? So meaning as a system administrator, you have to know how to manage containers. Even though that's true, uh, containers are more likely to be part of the, of the DevOps uh, area, okay? But as a system administrator, now you know that you have to do that. So here they say what? Manage container, find and retrieve container image from a remote registry, inspect uh, container images, perform container management using commands such as uh, Podman and Scopio. Scopio. Uh, perform basic container management such as running, starting, stop, and listing, running, containers run a service inside a container okay configure a container to start automatically as a system g service well really important then attach persistent storage to a container okay so where while i was doing my red hat exam i didn't have this part okay i didn't have this part here so but I know exactly what we are going to do here, okay? So uh, we are going to talk about it. So as with all Red Hat uh, performance-based exam, configurations must persist after reboot without intervention. Yeah, you have to know that. And here they say what? Red Hat reserves the right to add, modify, and remove objectives. So they can do that all the time. Such changes will be made public in advance in advance through revisions to the to this document so i think we are done there okay now what do you need to know so to do this exam we already talked about that you have to do to know this okay um and then here they say what why are attending the red rat uh red rat classes can be while attending the Red Hat classes can be an important part of your preparation, attending classes does not guarantee success on the exam. So do I, I have to say that here, please attending this, uh, tutor, this set of tutorial for the Red Hat exam doesn't guarantee that you're gonna pass the exam. It's just a way that you are going to work consistently, persistently that you're going to have uh, you're gonna maximize the, the way you're gonna get this exam. So previous experience, practices and native aptitude. So I like this, right? Previous experience, practices, uh, practice, 
Needy aptitude, aptitude uh, are also important determining determinants of success. Uh, by the way, I speak only French. Okay, so I, I mean my uh, native language is French, so I try my best to speak in English so that you can understand. Okay, so many book, many books and other resources on system administration for Red Hat product are available. Red Hat does not endorse any of those materials as preparation guides for exams. Nevertheless, you may find additional reading helpful to deepen your understanding. All right, exam format. How is it? How, how is the exam format? The Red Certified System Administrator exam is a hands-on practical exam that requires you to undertake real-world tasks. Okay, real world tasks. Internet access is not provided during the in-person exam. And you will not be permitted to bring any hard copy or electronic documentation into the exam, just your ID card, <laughs> that's it. Uh, this prohibition includes notes, books, or any other materials. For most exams, the documentation that ships that ships with the product is available during the exam. This exam can also be taken virtually as part of our remote testing format. Find out more about remote exams to see if this is the right choice for you. Now about scores, about scores and reporting. Official scores for exams, for exams come exclusively from Red Hat Certification Central. Red Hat does not authorize examiners or training partners to report results to candidates uh, directly. Scores on the exam are usually reported within three US business days. Uh, exam results are reported as section scores section scores. Red Hat does not report performance on individual items, nor will, will it provide additional information upon request. Recommended next exam or courses. This. So if you do the Red Hat exam very well, now you can go with the Red Hat automation with Ansible and the RIC, RHC. So here, uh, talking about this, the score that you receive, the result, um, most of the time they do that uh, the same day, a couple of hours after you did your exam, you will have your score ready so that you can know if you pass or no. And they are going to do that through your email. Now, the skill path, here are the skill path, right? But I'm not going to focus on that, all right? So now, meaning we clear all this, all right? So now you are ready. I think now you understand what you need for your exam and how you can adjust yourself. Now, uh, let's go on the right side. So here you can choose your location, okay? You can choose your location. For example, you see United States, here is $400. So for example, if I'm in South Africa, you see, three hundred dollars. All right, price exclude exclude VAT. Uh, I think maybe that's uh, like taxes and stuff. If I mean, um, uh, let's say, um, the other part. I don't know. So depends. It really depends of where you are, right? So for me, I'm gonna choose United United States. Right, so once I choose that, I will have the price here. And here is the duration of the exam. But I will say it goes maybe less than this, like two hours and 45 minutes or 30 minutes, something like that. Yeah, so they will say three hours here, but it's not really that. It's, I, was, I would say it's kind of misleading, but maybe they adjust it. Okay, here the format, and here you can click what is, What's this, right? Ways to test. 
classroom exam. Okay, these are the different way you can do your write up exam. So here is the classroom exam is a pre schedule test that is monitored by a proctor. The proctor is the person who is going to uh, monitor you while you are doing the exam. It's not going to be on site, it's going to be remote. Okay, it's going to be remote. So he will be somewhere else, but it will, uh, you will have to, I mean, is the guy who is going to guide you how uh, on what you need to do before uh before the exam within the five within five or ten minutes you're going to guide you on what you need to to know and then he will be there all the time if you need him and he cannot guide you at all like uh, giving you responses okay so Please schedule test that is monitored by a proctor and taken on pre-configured hardware at a pre-configured hardware, meaning you don't come with your machine. They have a machine that is ready, okay? And then you just sit and uh, log in with your account, your Red Hat account and all the stuff. Yeah, so at a Red Hat testing facility near you. Uh, On-site exam. Deliver to your location at a low daily rate and with simple setup. These tests are offers great, uh, greater flexibility and convenience. Okay. Um, individual exam can be taken at an affiliated testing center or remotely. Affiliated testing center or remotely meaning you can take it from your house, okay? But you have some additional uh, configuration that you have to do. Testing centers exams, center exams are hands-on. Hands-on. Are hands-on and taken on your schedule. Using a pre-configured testing station at a Red Hat or Red Hat partner location. Remote exam can be taken virtually from your home or whenever or wherever you are, completing an end-to-end -end path to certification through online testing. And you can learn more here, okay? So I think now you understand, all right? So say that, okay, so we had this, right? Individual exam, so we're gonna leave that by default. And here, Here's the duration, here's the cost according to my location and uh, find a learning facility near you already purchase. You can log in if you have, if you want to continue. So here I'm going to click on get started. Once here on get started, right? Here is the search that they did for us because it's the one that we are targeting. And you can see here it's I know, certified system administrator, three hours and individual exam. Individual meaning you will not see anyone there. So you will be on your own. And here is the, the ID of the exam, yeah, uh, EX200V8K, okay. And uh, added, <coughs> added um, seven May. 19. Hmm. Okay. So um, once you're here, you just click on it or click on add to card, right? So I'm going to click on it. So it's loading. Give it a second. Okay. So now, once you're here, they're going to come back again with this, uh, with the description outline for, the, for this course preparation, so exam format, score and reporting, audience and prerequisite. And so you understand that these are the stuff that we were, we were talking about earlier. Okay, now category Linux platform and additional details is this and campaign. And here you can see the details, right? Identifier, uh, subscription period, meaning it's available for three, 365 days, okay, from the time you purchase the exam. So you can purchase and take your time within one year to do the exam. <clears throat> and here my language is uh, English because I choose 
I choose a United States. I don't know if from other countries it's going to be a different language, but this is what I have. And at this time is $400, okay? Okay, I'm going to click on add to cart, right? And continue to go shopping, no. A uh, cost has been added to your shopping cart, okay? So I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to check out. Now, at the checkout, at the checkout here, you can see that um, they say this page shows you a list of items, of items. So right here, you can see that a list of items selected for purchase. To continue, click the click on the login or register button below. All right. <clears throat> so here you can see here is your card. Okay, and if you don't if you don't have a, a Red Hat account yet, you can click on register here, and they will. Here are some important notes that you need to know before you register, and you continue here. All right, and they are going to ask you to create your account because. This account that you, you will create is the one that you will use to log in for the IR exam. And they have a bunch of questions that they will ask you here. The asterisk ones are the ones that are mandatory. Okay. So I'm not going to do that because I already have my account. So I'm going to log in. <clears throat> so here they take me to the login screen. Now I'm going to click um, put my credentials, okay? And here's my username and now my password. All right, so authentication redirect. So now they're gonna take me back to the shopping cart because I'm already logged in, right? So here is the company name here right and here is the exam with 50 percent 50 percent uh off all right for me right i don't know for you if it's going to be the same the same thing but you can see that for now my subtitle is not it's not 400 right eight two hundred because i have a promotion discount since i did the exam before I can, <clears throat> I can, I have like a promotion code that they gave me and I can use it for my exam. Okay. I can use it for my exam. <clears throat> so here now, uh, after confirming all this, right? Here is the quantity and uh, I'm going to click on next. Just give it a second, please. Okay, here now on next, here is my uh, billing address that they require. Okay, uh, they require that. So I have this here. So I can just uh, click to continue because I have it already for you. You will need to add it. So I'm going to click on next. Once I'm here, uh, I have a recap of everything, right? And now here's the real price because there are taxes that they added. So if it was $400, it would have been something like $412. But you can ask uh, someone's, um, someone's uh, code referral and then they will provide you a promotion code someone who has a promotion code, and then they can give you that, and you apply that here, okay? You apply here. And now here, you have to choose your payment method, okay? So you choose, for me, I will choose a credit card. And, yep, it's still this. So, and you can see while you are moving, while you are moving, you can see that, uh, turning into a green color and the gray the gray one are, uh, the gray ones are the ones that you didn't um we didn't uh, complete yet okay so i'm going to click on next 
And once I'm here, I have to give, um, I have to uh, confirm this, okay? I have to confirm this. So here, I'm gonna click on next again. They said it's subtotal is this, okay? And they need uh, my, they need my, um, uh, the code that is on the back of my card, okay? So I don't know if I have it here. If I click on next. Yeah, so they ask me if I wanna pay and if I click on pay, I'm gonna pay, but I don't wanna pay because I did the exam already. So yeah, so after you pay, um, after you pay that you will have, um, they will, uh, you will just follow the rest of the stuff, right? Select students and then confirmation. After that confirmation, it might take like, might take from one to two days or three days for them to confirm that you can choose a place where you will, uh, uh, to confirm that you will take the exam, okay? Yeah, and then after that, they will give you, you, you will choose a date that you want to, to do the exam. And after choosing that date, you will uh, just prepare uh, beforehand and then go to the exam when, whenever you are ready. So this is uh, what I wanted to share with you today. And uh, you are very welcome to ask me some question uh, in the comment below. And for some, uh, I'm gonna put this link into the, the, into the description of the, of, the, of the video. And if you knew, you can just click on it and it will be, it will be redirected uh, over there. So in the meantime, if you really appreciate what I did, please uh, leave me a thumbs up or thumbs down, <laughs> it's not a problem. And also comment, uh, share with people who need. Uh, also subscribe and activate the notification bell so you cannot miss my content that I will deliver regularly for this exam. Or this exam okay so i'm really uh proud to be part of 2020 years and also um happy new year so see you next time